if sine of theta equals 0.57, then sine of pi minus theta equals. There's a few ways to do this, two of which are either annoying or a little bit hard to know, and there's one which always works and I think is the most effective, and I'll show you that last. The first way to do this is to remember the sine difference formula. So the sine of a minus b is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b minus the cosine of a minus sine of b. Okay, right, you'd have to remember that, which I don't recommend, you don't need to know that. But if you knew that, you could, in theory, you know, plug in the sine of pi and the sine of 0.5 of theta and then solve for the, it, it could be done. It's just going to be a lot of work, so I don't recommend it. You also could know that the sine of theta equals the sine of pi minus theta, and that is a consequence, essentially, of the difference formula here. Uh, but, and then you know the answer is 0.57. But you may not know that, so that's not exactly reliable. The best way to do it, the most reliable way, is to just brute force it. Use your calculator. We can find the theta by doing the inverse sine, since we know that the sine of theta is 0.57. We can inverse sine both sides, essentially. And we're left with theta equals the inverse sine of 0.57, which we can find. Once we find that theta, we plug it into this expression and we get our answer. So let's do it that way. Make sure we're in radians. We are. So inverse sine of 0.57. Oops. Gets me that. That is my angle. It's my theta. I'm going to plug that into the sine of pi minus that. And I get, what do you know, 0.57. So I get the exact same thing that I started with, which is what we expected. But in this method, you don't need to know anything else besides how to use inverse sine. And if you do, you get the answer pretty easily.